in this video we will understand uh, the architecture of an oracle database an oracle database uh, has the following uh, processes the memory structure and the data files the physical structure to handle the database to manage the data now in an oracle database there would be the physical structure of the database now this area you see here is called the physical structure of the database now here it comprises of data files the control files and the read log file now you see here these are the various processes which will uh, interact with the data files and also the memory structure now this is the memory structure of the oracle database now any action which happens with the memory is always faster that is the basic behind an oracle database and that's the reason why an oracle database performs much better so as a dba your role is that to see that most of the activities happen in the memory you see here this is the memory of the oracle database and here these are the various processes for oracle database this is the physical file structure which comprises of data files the control file the control file is a just a file which indicates the location of the data file the read log file the last time when you took a backup and every information the important credential related information are stored in a, a control file when you start a database the oracle will first check in control file with the details are matching if there is some problem then the oracle database won't start so that is how important your control file is while a read log file is whenever there are certain transactions occurring the transaction related data is stored in the read log file now to see it here in the oracle database to see the physical file structure of an oracle database what we do is we fire a query on dba underscore data underscore files this particular query will show you the location name for the data file this is the physical file structure this contains the data files the location of the data file and the file name now we also have something called the control file this is the name of the this is the control file of the database you see here this is the location and the file name of the control file and we also have something called log file this is the location for the log file you see this this is the location for the log file now so this is what the physical structure of the oracle database is now to manage the databases when hundreds of users like say hundreds of users are trying to access the database they don't directly connect to your physical file structure it connects first to the memory and then from there it contacts the physical file structure that's why oracle is able to perform well in a multi user environment so now let's understand the architecture more in detail about the oracle database now you see here these are the various processes in an oracle database and this part is the memory structure for an oracle database so uh, let's see the memory structure of the oracle database the memory structure comprises of database buffer cache you see this this is called the database buffer cache now what is the advantage Wh what does a database buffer cache do now what happens is suppose a user a fires a query on a particular client machine like say this is a query like query could be something like let's connect to a particular fire a select clause on a particular table like say select star from cat so this will list you all the tables in the database now when you fire that like say this is the client that is it results in a client process the client program client machine so like a client could be an n number of machines client machines 
which would be existing in different uh, locations trying to connect to the main server now this is the main server you see so what happens is when a user fires this command first a client program connects to the dedicated server process so the dedicated server process access is the server and the server process first checks in the shared database buffer cache whether those tables are already existing if it exists then it gives the data from the buffer cache directly to the client that is done by the server process you see this this is the server process now since the data was already in the buffer cache the activity occurred very fast but if the data doesn't exist in the buffer cache then the server process takes the data from the data file loads it into the buffer cache puts it into the buffer cache puts it into the most recently used uh, area and uh, gives the data to the client so buffer cache is a place where normally data related to the database is stored and it is very much accessed by n number of users like all these users try to access the data from the buffer cache so actually the client doesn't connect here directly but it connects to the server process this is called this particular part is called a server process now the other part of the memory is called the shared pool the shared pool is like when you fire a select clause like this this particular part of data is stored in a shared area it has to in this shared pool what happens is sql statement is stored this particular sql statement is stored and it is passed when it